The thistles of Strathspey and Bucky are contesting a final fixture in the Highland League's 34-game season. Gents in standard committee man regalia loiter and welcome us. They are among the species of great crested suits who keep our game ticking over. Always the club tie, always the shiny lapel pin badge and burnished plain toe shoes. There is something appealing about huts with hatches in football grounds. Perhaps they awaken a fairground kind of glee. Here, supporters can roll up, roll up to buy a scarf, pay their way in or enter the half-time 50-50 draw. At Station Park, the burnt sweet corn shirts of Nairn County are taking on the barber's pole stripes of for Martin United. On the grassy knoll behind a goal and in the two sideline stands, kids run about, play football themselves and jeer misguided away team shots. Adults stand and gesticulate about the game or sit on benches and talk about football, life, whatever. A man commentates for his blind friend, this place is everything our game can be. Onwards we must roll in search of the last few minutes of the last day of the season. We stop at well-kempt Mosset Park to pay homage to Forest Mechanics. The Can-Cans are away scoring half a dozen in Fort William. Walking around an empty football ground is a confidential kind of delight, like a shower late at night. At Rothes FC, the final whistle shrills, hands clap and studs clack on cement floors. Supporters amble and meander away in a rather directionless manner, as if their purpose has suddenly been lost or their batteries removed. At the catering hatch, a woman wipes the surface clean and pulls down a shutter. Another committee man bolts the club shop shed closed. Football will sleep now until August. <laughs>